Hello. In this session, I shall be developing lag length criteria. In this case, after we discuss all these section, how to import data, how to create variable, how to create lag variable, how to create differences, how to convert data into normal distribution, and how to convert variable into stationary. Now, the last part of this session, we can talk about how to select lag length criteria. Suppose we are go to a views. This is a views, and this is the variable we have. Suppose we have GDP, GDP, and as a dependent variable, and GDS as in dependent, dependent variable. So we have here only two variable, and in this two variable we have time series data for the period 1980-2016, as you can see it here, 2000, which is 37 observation, and here we have to go to eViews and to open the data as a group, just to click on GDP and then GDS open it as a group and this is the data from 1980 to 2016 which is time series data for two variable GDP and GDS gross domestic product and gross domestic saving from this I can select lag length criteria how I go to quick estimate var here you can see by default standard var or unrestricted var model. So here we can type the first variable GDP and then GDS the second variable which is here lag inter interval for endogenous 1 to 2. There is no exogenous variable only the constant and the period from 1980 to 2016. Let me check var restricted. Here we don't need it var restricted. We are talking about var and some of them which is this is version 10 of eViews standard call it standard var. After we put everything here we just press OK. Now we get the output here as you can see the output here we don't need all these output we go to this part here to check the lowest value whether AIC which is a KKA information a criterion or skewers information a criterion which is AIC or SIC we select the lowest which is in this case AIC is the lowest 70 uh, 87.62 comparing with SIC 88.07 sometimes here we have SIC and AIC some students they confuse in this part because here if we take this one we have two SIC and two AIC and two SIC. What does it mean? This part here related to the equation, the first model GDP as dependent variable, as you can see it here. So here we have this one and this one here we have to compare them. And for the model GDS, we have to compare this with this, but this is confusing. The main thing we have to go to this part here and then we select the lowest. Here we call it, this is a systematical equation because there is two 
equation each one represent dependent variable like GDP dependent variable on all these independent variable if you look to the vector autoregression estimation and you can see the sample how adjusted it to 82 2016 this is an include observation 35 after adjustment and standard error in the bracket which is this one here and T statistic in the bracket 2 which is this part here the same thing for GDS this is the reason why we call it systematical equation because we have two variable each variable represent dependent variable and the other is independent variable which is this independent variable for each model now we have to go back again to select this criteria we find a KKA uh, and the lowest and then we have to go to view lag structure lag length structure click leave the lag lags to include the three lags only and press ok we said previously AIC is the lowest value comparing with SIC. In this case, we have to select AIC. As you can see it here, AIC is the lowest and as far as we have these stars here, it means this model we can run it at one lag only. But in your case, you can use LR, final prediction error, or you can use SIC, which is skewers information criteria, or HQ, which is Hanan Quinn information criteria. But in our case, we used the AIC as the lowest, and then we select the lag. One is fitted for this model. Sometimes students they ask, they ask if we run individually for each variable, how we can run the model. In this case, here we can, as you can see, it shows that the lag lags used lag one because AIC is the lowest compared to the SIC. Then we select the lag length accordingly. Here we can run lag structure for each variable separately such as GDP and GDS to see the lag length for each variable if both have the same lag length for G or GDP or uh, GDP and GDS we will use it for each variable when we have systematical equation but if one variable has lag 1 say GDP and the second has lag 2 say GDS in this case we run the model with the lag 1 when GDP as dependent variable and we use lag 2 if GDS as dependent variable but we use lag 1 for this model as in the above table we show in this case here but this is up to the student how to uh, run the I mean, uh, system or the equation and to find the language which is the easiest way to compare SIC with S with AIC and select the lag length for the model. Finally, this model, we can run it at lag one. Thank you.